ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We commit the spirit of this woman into thy care, Lord. She was a good soul, an obedient and long-suffering wife, and a devoted mother. And even though this isn't a proper burial according to her tribe's custom, well, we are sure, Lord, that you'll welcome her into the kingdom of heaven. And may she rest in eternal peace with the knowledge that we will raise her only child as she asked with gratitude and with love and in every way as our own flesh and blood. Amen. Come along, son. Except death, little bear. Especially if the person is close to you. It's almost impossible when it's your mother. Even if you're grown up. Before she died, she said, I must forget that I have a father. My real father. How long has it been since you've seen him? I was five when they put him in jail. They said he killed a man. But you do like the Jimpsons, don't you? They have been good to my mother and me. But they are not of my blood. They're good people, little bear. They want you, and they need you. Need me? Yes. It was your mother's wish that they raise you as a son. There are more important things than blood, little bear. Do I call them father and mother now? I think they'd like that just fine. for you, Hawk. Your squaw finally got rid of you. She died. You don't give a hoot, huh? Well, what about your kid, then? Not that I think you got any human feelings. He's gonna be raised up by them settlers, took your wife in when she was sick. As a white. You're dead as far as he's concerned, Hawk. 
Maybe the kid can forget he had a murder and renegade for a father. Of course, with hot button. <laughs> Hawk, let us loose. Hey, Hawk, how about us? Free us too, Hawk. Hey, how about us? Hawk, let us loose. Come on, Hawk, the key. <sighs> Rot, white eyes. Rot and die. Yardy, Hawk has escaped from jail. Yes, Tagus. I can see that. gonna need some clothes and guns and powder and all my braves we got to take my son from the white eyes you talk like nothing's changed hawk we've got a new chief me and why should any of us risk our neck for your boy <laughs> You half breed. You do not understand the feeling of an Indian father for his son. That's very sentimental, Hawk. But if you want your boy, you go after him yourself. My braves go where I say. Or do you bend to the will of one in whose veins flows the blood of the white eyes? Have you so soon forgotten that it is poison? Poison to the Indian. Take us! Red Fox! Kalinga. Well, now. A year in change didn't break your spirit, none. That's good, Hawk. Some good. A little spunk can't hurt a man, huh? But too much spunk can hurt him bad. <laughs> Now, do you know who gives the orders around here? Do you? Do you know who gives the orders? I know. Stand up. Man, stand up. Hawk gives orders here. Is there one who challenges? You half breed. I hunger for the scalps of the white eyes and for little bear at my side then boom and then Daniel boom 
course, he's too smart to come back here when he knows we've been hunting for him. But I believe you're right. It'd be a good idea to alert the Jensons anyhow. Well, I'm obliged for the information. But in any case, he'd have been in these parts by now if he was coming. If he was coming straight here. Well, I'm due back. Goodbye, Mr. Boone. May go. Thanks again, Jim. Hawk is a vindictive man, Daniel. He'll never forgive you. He'll never rest until he's paid you back. Well, I expect he and I'll meet eventually. If he hadn't captured first. You really think he might go to the Jimsons after his son? Never even bothered to see the boy for years before his arrest. Well, he's also a proud man, Mingo. With all Little Bear being raised as the son of whites. I'm afraid that's exactly what he will do. This is for squaws. Where is Tagus with the fresh meat? Patience, Red Fox. Soon we will eat from the stores of the White Eyes in the cabin beyond the stream. Why do we wait? We are 20, and they are three, and one is a squaw. We wait for night skies, as I have said. And then we kill quickly, silently. And then Little Bear will see what it means to be the son of Hawk. Then boom. I have thought long on how I will kill him. Slowly. Slowly. That's why he didn't come straight here. Hawk has taken command of his band of renegades. But he's waiting for dark. Jimson's won't stand a chance against him. You better get to Boonesboro and get some help, Daniel. I'll try to make my way to the Jimson cabin. Now, Daniel, you have a family depending on you. I have no one. Now, Daniel, I can be stubborn. Plain common sense and logic are on my side. It'll take hours to get to Boonesboro and back. And by that time, great men go. We're wasting valuable time. You'd better get started. The knife. Jimson cabin. It's one argument we're both lost. wounded. It 
looks peaceful enough. I guess they're still behind us. Rest here. A moment. We better get across this open ground as fast as we can. Couple hundred yards or so. Huh? I'm ready. Let's go. Hurry and wash up, little bear. Yes, ma'am. There you go, son. He's the wounded one. The other one is Daniel Boone. I have waited for this moment for a long time. Shooting for a woman. Tom Jensen! It's Donald Boone! Hold your fire! That's not a savage voice. It's Daniel and Mingo. Daniel! We hear you! We'll try to hold them back! Cover me the best you can. Mingo's hurt. Daniel, can you bring Mingo in? I feel like you can make it to the door. Oh, I've been resting for the last few hours. Why not? Martha, be ready to open the door. I'll look twice as fast. Okay, Daniel, come ahead. Cover us, Tom. Here we come. too hopeful, Mr. Jimson. They're probably going to wait till dark. Now, watch that ammunition. It may be a long night. You need that. Better grit your teeth, Mingo. I guess I can stand it if you can.
save that rifle ball, young man. It will give me special satisfaction to fire it back at them. It's nothing serious. The bloodletting's helpful. We can use another healthy man. Take a look at this. Hawk gives orders here. Well, at least we know he doesn't want to burn us out. What do they want with us, Daniel? Mrs. Jimson. Mrs. Jimson. Mrs. Jimson! It's him! So that's what they want. That's why I wouldn't let that brave burn us out. Mrs. Jimson! Open the door! I want to talk to you. Dan, he's carrying a flag of troops. Truce. More likely an ambush. I'll call you. What do you want? I speak to the woman, Boone. Come out, Mrs. Jimson. Face me. I have a father's right. I'll try to explain to him. Speak to him from here. She can hear you. Have your say. Mrs. Jimson, I have no wish to harm you. Not any of you. Send little bear to me, and we will leave in peace. I have the rights of blood. If you do not send him to me, you will die. All of you will die. We will let Little Bear decide. There is your father. Little bear, come to your father. Come, little bear. We will hunt together. Fish the mountain streams together. Live in the woods as all true Indians live. You shall take your rightful place as the son of Hawk. Stop right there, Hawk. It's up to the boy to decide. When he does, we'll let you know. He will decide now! He will decide in his own time. Now get on back before I forget you're carrying a flag of truce. He is my true father. Yes, little bear, he's your father. But the kind of life that he's lived... You do not want me to go? Oh, no. You know I think of you as my son. He said... He said he will not harm you if I go with him, Mr. Boone. Bit young to know the truth about your own father, little bear. The truth is, he hates all white men. And I think he hates me more than anyone. You see, I was the one who captured him. It was because of me that he was in jail. I spoke against him at his trial. 
Why? Because he broke the law many times. It was the right thing to do. So I reckon I'm not the one to talk to you about your father. Little bear. Little bear. Your mother and father were Tuscarora. Were. Do you know why you do not live among the Tuscarora? The tribe cast out my mother and father. Hark. Your father was cast out. Your mother chose to go with him. They burned his teepee. They never speak his name. He is a dead man to the Tuscarora. A renegade and an outlaw. And it's all he's doing. He's filled with hate, little bear. Hate and violence. My mother chose to be a renegade with him. That's true. But you have your whole life before you. If you choose to go with Hawk, if you choose the life of an outlaw, a fugitive. You wish me to stay, but you will allow me to go? Yes, little bear. If that's what you decide. Why? Because... Each one of us has to decide what way he wants to live, what his responsibilities are, and what's right for him. We don't have the right to stop you. I wait no longer! Send the boy out! He is of my blood. He wants me. We will go away together, far from the white man's law. He will be safe. He will change. And you will all live. Come, little bear, come. <sighs> you are a true son of Hawk. You spit on the white eyes. We must go, father. Far away. We must find a place where the white man's luck cannot reach you. The white eyes will never capture Hawk again. And Boone and all of them will pay. They will pay for what they have done. It will soon be night. Take us! Gather dry grass for the hours of fire. Father! You gave your word! You said they would not be harmed! My word to the white eyes is as the white eyes promises to the Indian. This is justice, little bear. They will die.
But we have lost too many, Hawk. Some arrows of flame in the roof, mate. I have told you! We will use no fire while Little Bear is in that cabin. We kill white eyes. Only white eyes! Is there one who wishes to challenge the wisdom of Hawk? Four rifle balls, that's eight. But how accurate will they be? Uh, close range, they're... They're about as dependable as a whole ball. And that'll give us a few canisters. Two shots each. What happens after they're gone? Well, these will help some. It'll help improve the odds. And it'll give us a little light to shoot by if we're quick enough. I don't like it. Not a sound out there. Not a blade of grass stir. You don't suppose they sneaked off? They're out there. And they're close. It's time. For a second, let him see some light, but just for a second, and then slam it shut. Tail. Make it Hawk and about eight left. That's just about even things. Well, they would, except we're out of shot. daylight and we just might get help from Boonesboro. Boonesboro? Yeah, we've got plenty of bear grease left. Martha, gather up all the old rags you can find. Anything that'll burn and make a lot of smoke. Right. Good idea, Daniel. If you have any green wood, use that too. A signal fire. Yeah, there's always a man on the wall at Fort Boonesboro keeping an eye out for trouble. Well, the smoke can be seen for quite some distance in the sky if there's no wind to dissipate it. They could be here in less than two hours. Here you are, Daniel. This is all I can find in a hurry. Thank you, Martha. Bring me that bear grease. All we can do now is wait until daylight. 
smoked and be seen and hope that Mr. Hawk waits too. Get started. Hawk. The cabin. A signal fire. For ye. Get up on that roof. Take your coat. Close off that chimney. We will protect you with rifle fire. Quickly! Send somebody to block our chimney. They don't have a single rifle ball left. Martha, what did you do with that rifle ball you took out of Mingo's side? It's still in that tin pot. Here they come. 
right. Can you use this if you have? With pleasure. your son you could kill me but you can't make me your son i will squeeze the poison of the white eyes from your brain i will teach you to hate hate your enemies you are my enemy <laughs> the feeling that you have for your son to use him as a shield i will release my son when you drop your rifle in front of you father for a white eye? I will. If you come any closer, I will. Little bear, don't do it. But it has learned too much too fast, Dan. Well, he can handle it. Junks should recover a lot more quickly than their elders. It's easier for him now. A boy needs a father to show him the way. I'm going to do my best to make him forget, but so much violence and all because of one man's hate. Little bear? Hate. Sooner or later, it ends up killing a man. I just hope Hawk is the only one who's hurt. Did that answer your question? 